Good morning. I'm so excited to see you. Uh, I went to a refresher course because I've taken it before on the Level Up Teacher Trainer course, and it's awesome. The Seriously, the class is awesome. It's great. It's geared specifically for teenagers, but it's also for the teenager in all of us, and it's so good. And one of the ladies there, she went over some breathing techniques and some breath work, and it was that was really cool, too. So we're going to do a couple of them and she talked about how uh, they went hiking. Uh, they, a group of them went hiking and they all got altitude sickness and they used this breath, the, it's the emergency breath. And they were all, they were all taken care of so they didn't have any more altitude sickness by doing this breath. And it, it's also any, any kind of emergency it's really good for. It. And so you do two in through the nose and then a straw breath out. So you go, <laughs> And then you do the two in fast and the straw breath out slower. And so. Anyway, so that was cool. And that's good for. I started to get a little bit lightheaded. I, I don't know if that's, I think that's pretty normal. And then she did, uh, you are, you, you, you do a little bit of fist, but just a loose fist. And so you put your hands out and when you bring them in, you go, ha. So, ha, 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 ha. I don't even know if I'm doing it right, but something like that. And that's an energizing breath. And then she did one that was similar to the one that I do, but she just did it straight up. So I just thought that I would share some of that awesomeness with you this morning. You know, there's an, the energizing breath, the ha breath, uh, and then I don't remember what the, what the is this energy, I don't remember. Anyway, and then the emergency breath. And just to get your oxygen flowing in the morning, your brain's going. And, and so I just want you to just take a quick minute and just imagine that wherever you are, you're, you put your feet on the floor and feet on the, and imagine that you're standing on the grass and that you have roots going down, spreading out through, through the soil, through the sediment, through all the layers of the earth and just stretching out and your mother earth is nourishing and filling your body with every single thing you need, every nutrient, every vitamin, every, everything you need is, is mother earth is filling you. And it's just, it's just sort of that energy of mother earth uh, as your roots are down through the earth is going up and through all the cells in your body. And then you have that beam, that big beam of light coming down through the crown of your head, down through your spine and down to the center of the earth. And that is circling through your body as well, just purifying and cleansing all, every single cell of your body and just flooding it with light and oxygen. And in this space, just take a minute, And allow the peace and the love and the joy and the faith of knowing that your God is aware of you and loves you and that you are worthy and that he desires to give you every blessing that is perfect for you right now. And you ask, what is the most important thing?
for me to do today. And if you're not driving or you're not, and you're in a place where you can, just take a minute and write that down on your phone or write that down on a piece of paper of what is the most important thing for you to do today. And one thing that I forgot was for gratitude. So as you're in this space, just take a minute and, and say three things that you are so grateful for right now. So I, I'm so grateful for Roseanne Marsh and the incredible light and gift that she is through what she's sharing. And I know that she, sh she shares what God gives her and she is very free and abundant in that, that she shares God's direction with her through this course that is a super low price uh, for all the, all the thousands of dollars that she's put into developing it. And I know that God will bless her in return so that she can receive the temporal and financial abundance to produce, to continue on that path. And so I was asking what I, last night I was asking what Heavenly Father wants me to teach or go over or remind you of and me of today and he said repentance and I said well I've been going over that and he said we'll do it again <laughs> so I hope that you will be ready to receive whatever he has for both of us uh and Helaman Let's see. Um, I think it's a human. 12. If I remember right. Okay. So he taught, like, and this can be a little bit discouraging as long if we don't turn to him and hear it in the right way. But it says, this is Helaman 12 and it's verses one. And then I'm going to skip over to verse three and a little bit more of that. So, and thus we see it, and thus we can behold how false and how unsteady and the unsteadiness, the hearts of the children of men. And we see that the Lord in his great infinite goodness does bless and prosper those who put their trust in him. And he said, and then verse three, in this, we see that except the Lord doth chasten his people with many afflictions, except he, do, yea, except he doth visit them with death and terror and famine and with all manner of pestilence, they will not remember him. And, and he talks about how quick that we are to hearken to the words of the evil one, how quick to be lifted up in pride, to boast and to do all manner of that which which is iniquity how slow are they how slow are they to remember the lord their god and give ear to his counsels and and then if you go over to romans 5 it'll get more positive if you just stick with me for a minute uh Okay, Romans, Romans five. Uh, 
we are justified through Jesus Christ. And yes, that is the natural man tendency, but he's asking us to become a higher and better, higher and better. And in Romans, in Romans five, he says that we, that, that therefore being justified in faith. So this is verse one, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have access by faith and to the into this grace where wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of god okay so he's so on one hand he's saying okay this is the natural this is the natural man tendency you that they're quick to forget god that they're quick to do iniquity they're quick work we are quick to listen to the evil one and all of these things and on the other hand, he's saying, yes, this is the natural thing. But if you continue to turn to me as Joseph of Egypt, and as, as there are so many examples through the scriptures, that we are justified and by faith and have peace in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we rejoice in his glory. We glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience, patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in the hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. And so we have, he, so he's saying, this is the natural man tendency. And yes, there are people like, like Marival that I love and adore that are so good because they have, they have through their lives put off that natural man. And <clears throat> He said, let's see, uh, what other scripture did I want to read? We should serve in the newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. And so you, there's the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. And yes, he wants us, he wants us to do, he wants us to follow the letter of the law, but it's just so that we connect to get us to that point where we connect our hearts with him fully so that we live in the spirit of the law. And uh, and then you and then you go over and he and he goes through baptism and he goes through the law of Moses is fulfilled in Christ and all of these things. And then he and then he go over the law of Christ brings life and peace. And that's where he talks about that that we the spirit witnesses with our spirit that we are the children of God and joint heirs with Christ and that we are to be to suffer with him that we may also be glorified together and so how in Alma is Alma chapter 5 how he 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 tells us that we are the the whole purpose of the gospel is to teach well, like one of the most important things that we teach in the gospel of Jesus Christ is repentance because repentance brings us to Christ. And so as we repent, they, we discover as president Nelson said, as we discover the joy of daily repentance, that, that, that brings us to Jesus Christ that brings us. And in, in Alma chapter five, he gives us a spiritual checklist and he asks us in verse six, have you sufficiently retained in remembrance the captivity of your fathers? Have you sub sufficiently retained in remembrance his mercy and long suffering towards them? And moreover, have you sufficiently retained in remembrance that he has delivered their souls from hair, hell? He has changed their hearts, he awakened them out of a deep sleep and he talks about how they were, oh, their souls were illuminated by the light of the everlasting word. Again, with, do you, like, when we, when we put, when we really feast upon the words of Christ and his words abide in us, then it's so much na more natural for us to recognize where we're deviating from his course. And we, and, and it said, like it says right here, that we see that the bands of death are broken and the chains of hell that which which were encircling us they're loosed 
And as they're loose, their souls did expand and they did sing redeeming, redeeming love that they are saved. And how are they saved? And be, it is because of Jesus Christ, he frees us from those bands as we turn to him, as we repent. And in verse, in verse 12, he says, like, how are these, he gives these examples and he says, how, how were these delivered of God? And according to, and he's speaking of Abinadi, who was a prophet, who, who was a martyr and he, he died for Christ and died for bearing testimony. And he says, according to the faith, according to his faith, there was a mighty change wrought in his heart. Behold, I say unto you that this is all true. He preached the word unto your fathers and a mighty change was also wrought in their hearts. And they humbled themselves and put their trust in the true and living God until the end. And they, and therefore they were saved. Now, behold, I ask of you, my brethren of the church, have you spiritually been born of God? Have you received his image in your countenance? Have you, have ye experienced this mighty change in your hearts? Do you exercise faith and redemption of him who created you? Do you look forward with an eye of faith and view this, mort this mortal body raised in immortality and corruption raised in incorruption and stand before God to be judged according to the deeds which have been done in the mortal body? Do you hear the voice of the Lord saying unto you, come unto me and be ye blessed? And can, he says, can you look up to God at that day with a pure heart and clean hands? Can you look up having the image of God engraven upon your countenances? Again, and he, and he talks about the garment, how our garments are washed clean in Christ and to be spotless and pure and to have that have that change of heart and and do you feel that song of redeeming blood and again it all it's all circling around repentance and how we are freed we are freed through christ through our ability to repent am i so I, and i i'm asking myself this too am i repenting of everything that means that means even where I have ha held a spirit of unforgiveness in my heart towards someone, something uh, at the conference, she asked us to do this activity where you, where you write down every person, like you, what's a low vibration feeling that you have been consistently or repeatedly feeling? And mine was anger, just anger, feeling pissed off. And it, that was not, that's not, like, obviously, there is a time and a place for anger. Even Christ, in his ministry, there were times uh, when he was angry. But it's not consistent. It's not, uh, it's not even daily. And, and so she had us write down the emotion and then write down all the people that we could think of that just came to us that, would, that when we think of that emotion, that come up. And then when we're, when we have sort of a pause, you draw a line. And then when you think of more people, you write. And if there's another pause, then you draw a line. Anyway, it's just symbolizing the deeper that we get into our subconscious. And as we go down, sometimes I'm working. Sorry, I've got to finish up quick, but. As we work through, as we, and then we wrote a letter. So the people on the, uh, at the end, we wrote a letter to those people. And I realized that there are places, even like groups of people that I feel frustration and anger towards. And so I wrote a letter to people in our community that are like shoving their agenda and their ideas in my children's faces. And so I just, wrote this letter of first, like why I, fit, uh, why I feel frustrated and everything and angry towards them. And then I, I cast them out actually, because they are doing, they're doing the adversary's work. And I don't want that in my home, my heart, my mind, my children, my husband. And so I cast them out by the name of Christ. And then I hope I did Ho'oponopono because I don't know what got them to where they are. 
to to facilitate this corruption in our community. And so I did the whole Pono practice where I'm sorry, please forgive me, I forgive you. I think I, I added that I, the, I forgive you part. Uh, I forgive you, thank you. And I see if, if you can't say I love you, and sometimes it, it's a little bit of a stretch to do that, then you say, I see you, I thank you for what you've taught me or whatever. Anyway, and so I did that and I, it was, it wasn't as emotional as some of the processes that I've done on that have been, but it was just freeing. And so I, I would just like to bear testimony to you that I know that I know that Jesus Christ is my savior. I know that through him, I can heal all things. And I know that through him, I can repent and I can forgive and I can release any of those negative emotions that are not serving me. And so I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I, I'll, and I invite you to go forth this week and really look for those deeper things to really free you from any of that. And I we're a little bit short on time. So if you have any comments, anybody has any comments, please comment on the video. Thank you so much. And you have an awesome day.